Copper Hills High School was put in lockdown this morning after two teens in a stolen truck crashed into the football stadium. News for Utah's Rick Aaron found out how one teacher's decision could have prevented a tragedy. Police say that a 17-year-old male driver and a 16-year-old female passenger were joyriding around West Jordan in this stolen pickup truck this morning, crashing into some landscaping boulders in a yard on Duck Ridge Way, then at 9 a.m. showing up at Copper Hills High School where the driver attempted to flee from an officer. This truck comes out here hauling butt and <laughs> it's just drifting around the corner and then a cop came out chasing it and then it drifts around this corner right here hit the speed bump and it caught air and he like turned his wheel and drifted and rolled down this hill. The truck smashed through a chain link fence surrounding the football stadium, went down an embankment and through a second fence and onto the running track surrounding the field. The driver and passenger ran but got caught about 50 yards away in the visiting team bleachers. It's hard to emphasize exactly how dangerous this situation is. You have two young people who are stealing a vehicle, getting in accidents, and then fleeing from the police through a crowded school area. Somebody very easily could have been seriously injured or killed. Stacy Kaminsky teaches a lifetime fitness class and says her 40 students were supposed to be out here running on this track, but she made a fateful last second decision. We were supposed to be out on the track doing our mile and I decided to stay in the gym for that period and do a worksheet instead. Now, seeing what happened out here and where that truck went through the fence, what are your thoughts about what could have happened? It could have been very tragic. If we had our class, we have about 40 kids, so some of them could have been in that corner. Someone was looking down on, on my decisions today. Reporting in West Jordan, Rick Aaron, News 4, Utah.